There will be time in ZBrush when you want to duplicate your models in a different specific way or a very stylized way or replicate them in an array. So this is where the array option comes in. So for example, we have this tool which is entirely made inside the ZBrush itself. This I will press Shift F. You can see it's a quite low polygon uh, object which have different sort of you can see here like poly meshes okay let me turn on skin shade so you can see exactly how it looks like okay so if i want to duplicate this or replicate in an array so i will use array mesh over here now to use array mesh what it will do is that it will just duplicate your objects and a specific number of like way or with a specific number of options so let's see how it works so i will go to my array mesh over here and i have this object here now to apply this i have to just click on array mesh you can save your style of array mesh next time so you can click on save it will be saved but if you want to use reuse that style so you can just open it up and right away it will apply but right now i don't have any style so i will just click on array mesh as soon i will click on the array mesh it will ask me where i want how many uh, duplicates i want so right now it says two so if i will increase it three four five or as many you can see nothing is happening but at at the, in the background it is duplicating it okay so let's make it five for now and see how we can see the changes here now let me zoom in a bit here now just to see the changes we have these options offset scale rotate and pivot first let's see offset now i'm in the offset mode right now and how many copies i have placed here five copies if I will increase the X amount of the offset, so you will see that what will happen here. All those five copies is now offset to this value. So I can increase my offset or decrease my offset. So this is the X offset. Then I can undo it and go to Y offset and you can see that it is going down. I can go to the Z offset and you can see it is going to the other side. What if I increase the X? at the same time y at the same time and z at the same time so it will just go in this form and you can see that how it is showing so if you want to create something that follows this style this uh, arrangement so you can go with it otherwise you just uh, you know you can use any one of yours and this one on uh, like work on one now, for example, I want to increase my X profile or, for example, a Y profile, sorry, Y amount here. You can see it will go down. Now, once it is going down, you might notice that there is a specific distance between it. And if you don't like this sort of distribution, so you can always change it. And how you will change it, you will just go to that profile. Like, suppose I'm changing Y amount, I can go to my Y profile. And there is this graph. If I will start working on this, okay, like offsetting this and then creating a noise over here from here, okay, so it might change this. But the main thing that we work on over here, uh, we will work on is this uh, graph. Now, you can see this graph is linear, so it is just giving me equal distance what if i will go on this point and bring this down so just notice what is happening the space it's increase uh, is decreasing so that means i have to for more space i have to increase more uh, amount here now similarly if i will go to this side and bring this one on the top so you can see that the space is going downwards now if i will go left or right so you know 
just just like that so i just want don't want this one or if i go and you know try to make it graph so you can see that what is happening here so if i will make it smoother so little less gap or uh, sorry more gap little less little less and very very less okay let me grab and pull it out and if i will go inverse so you can see it will do but opposite side and you know you can go crazy with it you can make a randomness over here and see how it will work so this is how you can change the profile of any uh, offset direction you want so let me pull all of these out to make it regular so that's offset now let's uh reset it just you can go to the top reset and you will have this now for example if i will go here in the x amount increase this one somewhere here let me increase to three repeat because if you press reset everything goes back to normal okay now i want more underneath these so if i will increase the y amount so you can see that it's just removing uh, it's just moving those two which i pushed across i don't want to move those two i want to move this one uh, like a new one under this new one under this and new one under this but if i will in, uh, increase my y amount here so what is happening it's taking uh, these three and working on these three which in some cases you want you might not want same goes with the z profile if i go in the z profile you can see that it's taking these two and it's not creating a new one here what if you want to create a new one so there is an option here append new so just change the way you want like i wanted something like this so if i will press append new so it will bring a new stage over here now i'm stage two if i will start now uh, giving a y amount so what will happen it will not give the y amount to these two it will make a duplicate copy of these okay suppose if i want more so i can go here and repeat this up to you and if i want to move them in the z direction so i have to press append new again and then i can go to the z direction and i will have more and if you want more of these you can add so this is how I will get. So reset everything now and go back here. If you want to delete these stage, you can just press the delete button. It will delete the stage and just like you are deleting uh, your subdivision. Now I have one. Now let's see scale. So if I go to scale and repeat five over here. So I have all these scales, X, Y, and Z. Let's see what happens if I scale it to the X amount. So you can see that it is showing me something as this. If I will scale it to the Y, you can see it is scaling in the Y direction and it is giving me five of them. Let me reduce it to three so you can see what is going on. If I will scale it to Z so you can see that what is happening. But it is quite not understandable what is happening. Now to see it clearly, you can go to offset, try to offset them. And then you will see what is going on so if i will offset this in these different direction you can see what actually the scale has done it took the x of it okay and when i scale it so this one's uh like you know it will be scaled uh, like uh, much lesser this will be scaled more y it will just do like this and z it will scale from this other z x uh, x so this is how the scaling will work so let me reset all of this go back here now let's see rotate now if i'll go to the rotate here it will rotate in these directions like suppose if i rotate you can see that rotate i really like rotate i usually use rotate a lot so it will uh, rotate it on the x axis just like this depending on how many copies you have so if you want more copy increase more but i think uh, four or five is enough and if you want you can reset this or make it zero and then if i want y so it will rotate in this direction 
and z it will rotate in this direction and you can rotate all the sides together so if you want some chaotic sort of result that's what it do now here we have pivot let me increase the value again to five now let's go to pivot now pivot if you will rotate on x-axis you will notice nothing is happening here if i will go to y-axis nothing is happening and if i will go to the z-axis nothing is happening now the reason it is not changing because it works with all of these it's only to change the pivot of your object for example if i will go to the rotate and just rotate it this one okay and i think there are quite a lot maybe let me pick it for five or yeah 10 is enough so you can see that so i have rotated this maybe 360 degrees i have rotated it. and you can see how it looks like right now now if i will press m on my keyboard or like w on my keyboard sorry so it will show me my gizmo here now see the gizmo is in the center of this object means my pivot is in the center so if i will go to the pivot right now i have turned this on so that you can get the idea what does the pivot mean so you can see i have rotated this on x axis 360 degrees now if i will go to the pivot i have x y and z pivot x pivot is you know back and forth i don't want that i want uh, the pivot which it will move it in y direction so i will choose the y amount and increase the y pivot now just see what will happen if i will increase the y pivot you will see now it is moving across because now it's not uh, you know rotating from the center let me turn this off now now if you start rotating from the center because if i will just go back to zero the pivot is in the center and it is rotating from the center now if i will turn off my perspective and go to the front viewport uh, like if i will just move it to the side viewport you will better you will better understand what i mean this is rotating from the center this is the center now if i will go to the pivot and move the amount the center will move from top to over here somewhere here so you can see that if i will move this so now you can see it is somewhere down here so what this means uh, is exactly is that here is my center point and this center point is now move, moving these all the items from here okay that's how it is working what if i don't uh, want this okay maybe i don't want the y or maybe i uh, want the y but i also want the uh, x um, uh, you can say pivot okay so if i will go let me turn on my perspective again and if i will increase my x pivot here so you can see uh x i don't think it's not doing anything let's try z here so you can see that it is moving the pivot is now moving at this part as well so that also is happening what if i will go make a new let me uh okay there is this option lock position uh i think i just pressed it without noticing so this is for locking the like related position i just unlocked it so don't worry about that one uh for this project it wasn't doing anything i don't know how i pressed this but here you can see what is happening here and if i will change to y it uh, said it was taking it on this uh, side but let me show you one uh way that it will work more perfectly if i will go to append now this will create another stage now if i will uh increase the y amount also increase the steps here okay and if i will go to my offset here and increase the y over here okay let me decrease this one too much this is too much 
So you can see that how it is affecting my objects here. And now if I will go back to rotation, rotate on the x-axis as well. You can see some of them are rotating, some of them are not rotating. Okay. Let me try this. Okay. Or just x here. And now if I will change the x rotation or uh, x pivot here. Okay. So there is not much of the change, but uh, there is some change over here, which is hardly hard to see. But if I will change the Y, you can see how it is moving. And if I will change the, sorry, Z it was that. Now if I change the Y, it's more like that. So basically, this is how you can do it. Now, one more thing we can use here is the transpose. So if I will click on the transpose, it will give me uh, the transpose option. And if I go to the move, okay, and uncheck this, you can see I have the transpose over here. So I can just, you know, take any one of these axes and try to move them, okay. And you can see that with the help of the transpose, I can move the pivot or I can do the scaling. Un do this one let's go to scaling and try to scale it with the transpose okay so you can see that how it is working here and if i will scale down this or y so with the help of the transpose you can also work with with this so i hope you are are getting this part a little bit tricky here but if you will work on it quite more often you will get that idea just need to figure out where these things are, you know, taking you and then how you are getting the result here. Okay. So that's how you can get that. Uh, let me reset everything here. Turn off the transpose. Okay. Go back to draw mode. Now, what I can do here is that they all are instances okay let me go and delete this stage as well and yeah 10 is fine and shift f uh shift f so that you can see the wireframe now what is this basically it's kind of creating a sort of a you can say uh array over here and it's making in, it's copying its instances if i will change something over here it will change on this as well suppose if i will go to my bzd uh, bzm my uh, z model tool spacebar q mesh okay q mesh what it will do is that it will just uh, move it outwards okay or move it inward just like this if i will move it inward it will be gone just to make holes or those kind of things so you can see if i have done if you will do something here it will affect the others as well so that's one cool thing about it and if i will extrude it you can see that what is happening here okay so a, a really nice way to do that i will undo is and one more thing here is that if i will go to the rotation and Let's rotate only this one. So if I will go to the rotate option from here, okay, and uncheck my transpose from here, and just rotate it in this way, in this direction, somewhere just like this, and go back here. So you can see they uh, they have moved far apart because of the size okay so if you will go here and you know go to the pivot because the pivot when you change the size the pivot changes so i will just reduce the pivot of the y-axis and you can see that how i'm getting the result here now they are and just inside uh, they are in the array mode right now they are not a mesh so when you are ready, you can just press the mesh button over here. By the default, extrude is on. You can turn it off, but I will tell you what does the extrude mean over here. So suppose I will press Alt on my keyboard. Okay. 
and select this one this one and uh, how i'm doing you already know that uh, pressing alt will polypaint that uh, sorry uh, it will make a polygroup of those like selected faces if you have z modeler so i will select this one and this one here and then i will go below alt click here click here oops so these are now selected and they have become white polygroups here so if i will press uh mac uh, like make mesh here so you will see that whatever i colored over here is now joined okay now it's not completed because i didn't press the close button over here but oops sorry but it will give you uh, like give me this option here now if i will undo this one and press uh okay press the close select the close and then press the mac uh, make mesh so you will see it is now close 100 percent now it's up to you if you want to give it a uh like a different like sort of a result or anything you want to do you want to do, apply uh like a subdivision on it or whatever you want to do suppose i want to go here space bar extrude some bars or you know it's totally up to you what you want to do right now so if i will want to extrude this one okay uh as they all are selected so i have to change it to single poly it is there okay so it is extruding uh all of them because i just uh, painted this as you know okay so this is one way of uh, doing this one as you can see they all are extruding because of the polygons and those uh, uh, the one that i selected okay so i have to i think press ctrl w so they will become normal uh, all as a one now i can single the uh move them extrude them because before they were set of polygons so i was not able to do that now i can single polygon i can do that now i cannot change uh, if i will change one so this is all the only thing that will change right now because i am not anymore in the array mode but now i can freely move with it but what if i was in the array mode i would be able to do some changes here so I hope you have understood about the array mesh and it will help you to create these sort of uh, items. Usually I use it a lot when I'm doing some mechanical objects, especially when I'm making vehicles, turbines or fins of a blades of a fan or some sort of a, you know, make uh, like futuristic uh, hard surface model. So guys, if you have really enjoyed my video, if you have liked the video, uh, please uh, click the like button and i will be uploading uh, new lessons tutorials live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos so don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications as i will upload them and really guys i will highly appreciate if you will give shout out to my channel on your social media accounts which will help me to get more subscribers and this will surely motivate me to create more content for you all so guys, thanks a lot for your support and uh, please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson.